Employee at a Chapel Hill school is under investigation tonight after a claim of on-campus sexual abuse. Our Robert Richardson looks into how the administration is handling the situation. East Chapel Hill High School parents learned late Thursday that a student may have been the victim of sexual abuse. A school spokesperson says staff knew rumors would likely begin swirling following Thursday's Board of Education work session. Principal Eileen Tully issued a statement notifying parents about the allegation of sexual abuse against a student and said the suspect is no longer at school and will not return. And I feel that uh, Ms. Tully, our principal, is doing really well. About it. I, I don't know much. I'm pretty, I have full faith that she can handle the situation. Chapel Hill police say the school notified them Monday, and officers are investigating allegations they describe as a sexual battery that happened on the East Chapel Hill High campus. That's just crazy, man. Yeah. That's like your your like place your place of work, and you're just screwing around with somebody that's um, underage. Yeah. Like, I can't believe it. The school system confirmed the dismissal of three staff members this week, none of whom were teachers. It's supposed to be like keeping yeah. campus safe and stuff, and it's not always going on. Principal Tully said in her letter that she knows students and parents will have many more questions, but she cannot release additional details due to a requirement to maintain student and employee confidentiality. The principal says her top priority is and always will be the safety and protection of students. Police have not made any arrests at this time, but say the investigation is ongoing. In Chapel Hill, Robert Richardson, CBS North Carolina.